here and also also uh, joining us is um, Jacinda Corsi. She is uh, one of my licensed, copyright license managers. Uh, basically, she handles all of New York. So any questions that you ever have for uh, a New York school, uh, Jacinda can handle that and make sure that um, you know, she can get those questions answered and help you guys move forward with any licensing. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're just going to do a real brief, quick overview. We're going to talk a little bit about um, just our partnership with New York State PTA. Uh, Jacinda is going to talk about how to use the license, when the license is, is needed. And also, uh, I, like Kyle just mentioned, we want to make sure to answer some questions. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to throw those in the chat and we'll definitely make time to get to those. And we're going to talk about a few other opportunities we have that come along with the license now um, so that you can engage your families uh, that using the license that we have and as like as Kyle mentioned also just to also be able to help the teachers in your school district maybe also be able to offer um, some entertainment and fun um, opportunities to use movies in the school and so uh, without further ado before we uh, um, kind of uh, let's go ahead and get kicked off and started I want to go ahead and share my screen real quick sorry should have had that ready <clears throat> so the first thing um, that I want to get to go ahead and talk through with you guys is uh, we have a, a landing page specific for New York State PTA. We're really proud of our partnership and excited to have a partnership with um, our, our, the New York State PTA members. Uh, what, one thing that we always want to make sure is we, we kind of worked with Kyle and made sure we have an exclusive membership discount uh, for any uh, PTA member so that you can you know, have a more affordable way to obtain the license um, and, and use that for your school. Uh, one of the things on the landing page, we've got a lot of resources on this landing page and I'll make sure to put this out. Um, we'll have a, a document at the very end so you can have all these links if you want to uh, copy that or, or um, as these get sent out. Um, but you've got a lot of information. If you wanna hear from uh, the great Kyle Belkopitsky, you know, we've obviously got a, a welcome message from her and just talking about why we do need a license, but there's an opportunity to really kind of um, watch a real quick video. We got to do an interview with Kyle um, a while back and we're excited to uh, be able to highlight that. But one of the main areas that we wanna help schools with, especially our New York um, State PTA partners, is just finding programming ideas. I think movie programming is the key to success in any kind of licensing agreement that you have. You know, when you're coming in and having a movie license with us, we wanna make sure that we help you with that. Some of those ideas are social and emotional learning programming. You know, as you look down the, uh, um, we have a, a whole section where you can kind of get some ideas. We've talked with what other schools have done. We've also come up with some ideas that we've worked with in partnership um, and just kind of want to make sure that we talk through that and highlight these are areas that you can also engage your students and families in that social emotional learning. Another big area that we really want to highlight is our diversity programming. You know, obviously movies are a great way to push a message um, and really to kind of help that resonate and, and kind of drive home a message that you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, relate to your to your students. And so diversity programming is another area. And there's a, a lot of uh, movie ideas. You can hit read more. There's a great couple articles in here as well as, well as movie ideas. And then we've also developed uh, just some resources uh, that you can always come to this landing page and grab. And we try to update these resources every month as we move forward. Programming movies, uh, programming with movies, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> this whole resource is, you know, whether you're doing a, a math night, you know, where you kind of want to highlight some learning of things. If you want to, uh, we've had schools do um, a kind of a, a lunch and learn kind of fun program where they sponsored a movie during lunch times. You know, we've had, there's many multiple times, uh, multiple ways to engage families more than just the traditional movie night, if you're wanting to find other ways to program. And one of our new favorites that we are, did specifically in partnership with New York State PTA is our move with movie guides. Um, and this really just came out of the idea of, you know, we've all been home for quite a while now uh, in, in different in different aspects uh you know as far as um maybe being a little bit more non-social or maybe not moving as much and so as we got back into students being back in schools and thinking about movie nights we wanted to make sure that we were maybe not just having it just a movie night where you sat and watched a movie why not try to engage those students get them up and moving finding new ways to uh, to watch a movie you know whether that's maybe doing a a resource guide along with the movie or just doing jumping jacks every time that a, uh, uh, you know, a certain character in the movie says a certain word or something like that. So we've come up with a lot of fun ideas. We've got about seven now. We'll have our next movie guide out here by the end of the month. 
Um, and so anytime, just come here, find new resources, and you can really kind of uh, really plan out. And, and the best way that I would say to take advantage of your movie license is, uh, you know, even think through how could we program all year long? How could we continue to have a movie program where we can just engage our family? Um, with that, I'm going to kind of, oh, one last thing on the end of this. If you're ever on here, this is open to all New York State PTAs. And if you have questions about licensing, you can always submit um, any questions or uh, contact us form here and Jacinda will be able to reach out to you and, and really get you any information that you need. And so with that, I want to kind of transfer it over to Jacinda, let her talk a little bit more about, you know, the license itself, what it covers and why you need the license. And so Jacinda, I'll keep sharing my screen here, but go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Seth. Good morning, everyone. Um, one really fun thing too, I wanted to mention about the Move with movie, move with Movement Guides um, is Kyle really kind of had that idea during the height of the pandemic to um, how can we give some brain breaks to the kids during the day? How can the teachers have some 15 minutes of maybe silly time during the day when the kids aren't moving um, to different classes and that? So that was really um, a great collaboration with the New York State PTA. Um, so we're pretty proud of that. And the New York State PTA logo is on every movement guide that we share with all our schools across the country. So that's pretty exciting um, with the Move with Movement Guides. But um, to also talk about, you know, why do you need a license and why do we provide licensing to schools. So um, the copyright uh, laws for movies are um, if you show a movie outside your home, you would need a public performance license. So anytime you take a movie, whether you own the movie or stream it from Disney Plus, um, actually own a DVD or download it from Amazon, that's for home use only. So to take the movie outside your home in any market, not just a school, whether you're in a park or a cruise ship or a motor coach, um, every time a movie is taken outside your home, a public performance license is needed. Now, there is an educational exemption that's in place. So if teachers are actually using movie as part of curriculum and part of teaching in the classroom, then in those times, um, a movie uh, license is not needed. Uh, but if a teacher is using a movie for entertainment, um, even though it's during the day and in the classroom, like for a reward, rainy day recess, um, a holiday party, uh, anytime they want to do anything, even though it's during the day, fun with movies, a license would be needed because that's considered entertainment. So our license is um, uh, 22 different studios that cover 24-7 uh, the school. So whether the PTA wants to do a fundraiser, a family engagement movie, or teachers are wanting to do something during the day for entertainment, the license covers um, all those all those events. So that's kind of really, really nice. You're buying something not only for your PTA to use and be in compliance, but you're to give great give back to your teachers uh, to be able to have the licensing in place. So with the um, license and when they use it for the indoors, uh, you don't have to let us know what you're showing. There's about 24,000 different movies that are covered from those 22 studios. So you just check our website. Uh, we have a great search tool. Um, down below, there's um, some studios, or not some, but all the studios we work with, with um, pictures and logos for all of them. So you probably recognize um, all the main studios there. It's about 95% of the coverage uh, when you're in a theater. So those are all the major motion picture studios. And we are a sole source provider in the school market for those studios. Um, so the license does cover the school 24 seven. And I was saying you would go to the uh, website and just search a title. Do you want to show Wizard of Oz or do you want to show maybe the brand new Space Jam or any movie like that? You would check our website. Um, a lot of the movies you can browse on the website um, and it'll show you different movie ideas and, and things that you can use um, maybe for a holiday that's coming up or um, is it President's Day, Earth Day? We'll give suggestions and different things. But like older titles, you can you can search also. You know, maybe you want to uh, want to do, uh, like I said, Wizard of Oz or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which both are covered, and you're not going to see on that homepage. But you just type the name of the movie in, and um, then it'll come up, and you know you can you can watch it. Uh, the movie will have a trailer, it'll have the rating, it'll have the running time, and a little description about the movie. So that kind of makes it nice. We do not provide for the annual blanket license the content uh, so they can use uh, movies they brought in from home, they can download them from Amazon, they can use a movie off a streaming service, all that is legal content and once you have the public performance license in place, um, you're able to use the, the license with those movies.
I don't know if we have any questions because that was a lot that I went over um, before we move to anything else. So feel free if there's anything to type that in there. Yeah, we have the chat box open. So if you have any questions at all, even along throughout the presentation, feel free to leave it in the chat box because we'll make sure that we uh, circle back around to answer those questions. And so, um, and thanks Jacinda, as you kind of got to go over all of that. And she brought up a really important thing. Uh, one of our most common questions is how do I know if a movie's covered? So just for a few minutes, I'm gonna walk you guys through um, at any time, you know, you can see even on our New York State landing page, you can come up here and there's a, a, a click that or there's a link that says browse movies. Under that browse movies is an easy way for you to kind of find some different ideas, as well as I'll show you how to search individually. Um, the uh, uh, and oh, someone put uh, I may have missed it. Is there a login password to search the page? So there's no login uh, required. Um, you know, this is a way for anybody to come on and see the resources that are available. Uh, because we don't provide content, which is what, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what uh, Jacinda was also, you know, referencing. We don't, we don't provide the content for the the movie. So that that's you, to, you uh, providing your own. DVD, Blu-ray, you know, uh, digital download or digital format of some kind. And so uh, any legal format that's available is covered for the public performance license. Um, so we don't provide content. So there's no uh, login required or anything like that. But to get on, you can come right here to the New York State PTA page or uh, to swank.com. Um, and uh, if you click on browse movies, it's going to take you to our um, browse movies page. Now. <clears throat> excuse me, we have one specific for K-12 schools. What I like about this page is we've kind of set up, we've had a lot of different schools ask about, well, what's popular or wh what's some different ideas? Again, along with um, the, uh, you know, movie programming idea. Well, we have always trending now, what's kind of most popular? Um, obviously in some schools, you know, they're like, well, we seem like we only think about the elementary kids and the and the cartoons that are out there and you know we've got a lot of high schools and middle schools going well do we have content that's a little bit more geared towards high school so here's a lot of more titles that we have requested on our high school level so just kind of a, an easier way to search by genre um, we always have new releases anything that's brand new out we want to make sure we're showing and then obviously a very popular thing with most schools is having a holiday party of some type um, and so we have holiday films, Halloween films, you know, anytime around the year. Um, and then our, our favorite is family friendly. Just if you want to be able to find, okay, I want to find some decent content, family friendly content. Here's a very easy way to search um, as well as if you need, I know a lot of schools have restrictions that have, Hey, I need either a G or PG content, as opposed to sorting through thousands of, of uh, titles. You can come to this genre right here. And at any time, if you hit show all, it'll give you all of them available. Obviously you could scroll over one at a time um, individually, but you can also hit show all and it'll take you to a page that'll give you every movie that's under that. We also have superheroes. That seems to become more and more popular every year, uh, as well as uh, trilogy programming. This is something that we found as fun as when, you know, if, if you're really thinking about that programming idea and you want to do a series, sometimes it's fun to do those series where you're doing a trilogy, um, you know, of movies if there, or there's, uh, you know, if, if there's multiple movies out there. So um, as we move on, uh, oh, and th this one's my favorite. These are just some genres again, but throwbacks, you know, um, Jacinda had mentioned there's sometimes some oldie but goodies like Goonies and Jumanji uh, <laughs> where people, you know, the kids today have never seen those and they are spectacular movies to be able to use. The other side then is if you have a specific title in mind, up at the very top of our webpage, you'll see a little search in the right hand corner. All you have to do is click that and type in anything. Now, the only thing that I'll make sure to do, it does search every one of our, it has a, an ability to search every category that we work with here at Swank, um, such as onboard, which is our, you know, cruise ships and, and hotels and resorts. All of them have different licensing. Our K-12 is our blanket license where all the studios that just didn't mention are covered under one license. So you just want to make sure it says K-12 schools and you could type in, let's say, um, Cruella. All right, uh, whoops, helps if I can actually spell. There we go. And it'll show you a whole bunch of different options here, but here's Cruella and then hit search. 
man, hopefully my internet keeps up with me. And it'll show you anything that is associated with the word Cruella. So you can see actually the movies out here, but also Cruella obviously has mentioned it, all these other 101 Dalmatians. Uh, this one, the reason I picked it today is because my daughter's now just going through the 101st day of school. So she dressed up as a Dalmatian as she went to school today. Uh, um, and so uh, got me thinking about Cruella, but, but it's a very easy way to search. And then once you find the movie, again, you can see um, the rating. Also, it'll say available now if it is covered under the license. Sometimes there are new releases that come out that will be, um, they're not quite ready yet. They're not released yet. So uh, let me uh, grab an example of that. Encanto is a brand new uh, release. And there's been a lot of questions that say, hey, is that covered under the license? Well, it is only covered after the, the studio releases it to a home release date. And so you'll see it's PG, but it'll also tell you the availability date right here. So it is actually not covered under our license until February 8th. Um, and so as soon as that, but then it is covered for any events after that, it'll be, uh, it's covered under the blanket license. So wanted to just kind of cover those few little things and ideas right there, um, just to make sure. And now uh, let me kind of move back to our questions. Uh, and I want to answer a few questions. Yeah, maybe I can grab a couple too for you, yeah, Seth, because I was ahead. reading them while you were talking. So a um, couple of great questions. Somebody asked about the virtual streaming option. So that a uh, pilot program that I know Kyle announced and talked about is we're doing monthly movies, one every weekend, um, a couple times two. And those are virtual movies you can share with your family. So if you have the um, annual blanket public performance license in place, you're part of the New York State PTA, you will be eligible to receive those emails with those movie links um, every month through the end of June of this year, we're going to do it. So um, saying it's a pilot program, we're trying it out, seeing how it works, seeing if it's used, how much it's used, how well it's live. Liked, um, all that. So we send a watch link to you in one email that you can share with everybody in your school. Um, we do ask you just to share that with the families in your school and you can email that out. Uh, we do have it on the um, email. Please don't share it on social media uh, just to keep that secure, that link. Then we send you a second link, um, again, for security reasons. It's a passphrase, kind of like a long password um, that would go into each movie title. So if on um, this coming Friday, it was Paw Patrol and your families wanted to watch that on Friday, uh, anytime during the day, they're open till uh, morning till uh, midnight, they could um, click on the watch link. And then when the movie comes up for that day, Paw Patrol, they would put in the passphrase for that movie um, and could be viewed by as many people in the school um, at that time that wants to view the movie. Um, so this is really fun because like somebody mentioned, you can't be on campus right now. Um, so it's a great way on the weekend um, when kids are home more, families are staying home more to be able to have some fun movie events um, with, the, with your kids. Um, so not for sure, it said one movie, one license, but how many viewings? So. Uh, yeah, unlimited, as many viewings as you want, as long as everybody um, is a family at that school that has the license. And um, we, the licensing fee for New York State is 480 a year. And there's an, also an option to buy a two-year license, and then that you get a discount and makes that 850 a year. So you, you do purchase the $850 for two years up front. Uh, for both licenses, you pick the start date. So whatever date uh, you want to start the license, it would go for one year or uh, two years from, from that date. So um, I'm looking here. Yep, families can watch the movies at home. That's absolutely what the virtual series is, is part of. So you're getting an annual blanket license for the school um, in hopes that teachers are able to use some movies during the day for fun and the brain breaks and rewards. Um, then when your school opens back up, hopefully you can also use the license then for family engagement, um, fundraising, you can fundraise with the license as long as all the money goes back to the school or a school group like a PTA, uh, that's perfectly fine. And then you're getting the virtual series that we're doing right now as a pilot program through the end of June um, with, the, with the movies. Um, Seth, maybe you can pull up and show them what we're doing for February. Or do you have a yeah. list handy not to put yep. you on the I'm spot? I'm actually going to pull that up right now here. Give me a second. Yeah. Looking through if we got. Yeah. And so um, to kind of give you guys a real quick walkthrough, let me go ahead and share my screen one more time. Um, so for February, um, 
we are doing a, a series of movies. Uh, you know, we've got Akila and the Bee, Harriet, um, a movie on around Valentine's Day called Finding You. It's a newer release. I apologize. I didn't actually hit share. There we are. Uh, <laughs> Akila and the Bee, Harriet, Finding You. We've got Princess and the Frog. So just some kind of fun love stories around uh, Valentine's Day. Then uh, Lincoln, which is real close to our President's Day um, celebration. Uh, we also have Remember the Titans. Now, what we try to do is we were always going to have a Friday night movie. And then occasionally in the month with the virtual series, I'll add a Saturday event as well. So we probably do one or two Saturdays available. Like uh, we had some schools request, you know, is it possible to have a Saturday kid movie so that way maybe they're not up late on Friday, but they watch us. So we decided to put Princess and the Frog this February. We've got some, we've got movies already starting to plan for March. So every month, we will put out a series of titles. If you have a, um, and if you have a, an active license with us, Jacinda, all you need to do is contact Jacinda um, and she will make sure that you're on our list to, to receive these. You'll get this, uh, you'll have a watch link and you see right here, you can, um, that's our, our watch link for the, uh, the virtual series. When you click on that, what it does is it prompts everybody to enter a passphrase. And as long as you have an active license and you've been in contact with Jacinda, she got you on the list. Um, she'll send you out all those passphrases for all the individual movies um, every month. Okay, we'll make sure that you're, you, you receive those. Um, at the end of the month here, you know, a brand new release uh, covered by the license is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, so we're excited to be able to offer that. And so I will try and we're gonna always try to have kind of a new release every month available that's been released just in the last month or so, as well as some oldies but goodies. Uh, we're actually even trying, you know, because uh, we had mentioned, you can really use this license as a gift for your school as well. You know, because you have the license, it covers the site, not the movie, which means the teachers can use it. So if they're deciding to do a little reward day or a PBI is like a, a positive behavior incentive program where they're like, hey, we've worked hard. We're going to watch a quick little video. Uh, um, this virtual series would be available to your school uh, and, you, and the teachers could do that. So if they wanted to do a Friday during the, uh, during the day movie, they could use that because you guys have you know, providing the license for them, as well as like we're trying to start now providing even just once a month, at least a Disney short or something, some kind of short film that we could put in that maybe doesn't take at hours of the, of the class time. But if somebody wanted to watch like a great one that we're doing this month is La Luna, which is a little seven minute video that you could watch. And so just to kind of give you, we're trying to do a wide variety to try to um, cover all areas, but we want, we, we really want our New York State PTA schools to be able to take advantage of the virtual series. Um, and so uh, that's kind of our overview for February. And obviously every month we'll be able to continue that. So I wanted to, um, wanted to answer- We have a, a couple, couple of good questions yeah, here go too. Um, so somebody asked, go back to like the Corella example of a teacher wants to play during indoor recess, do they, how do they access that movie? So um, that would go back to during um, the day, not providing or in the evening, anytime the movie's shown in the school, the virtual is just an added pilot program fun benefit right now that we're trying out. So any other time that you wanna show a movie or a teacher wants to show a movie, they would provide the movie content. So whether if they wanna show Cruella and they, uh, they have it downloaded off of Amazon, they actually have a DVD, they wanna get it off of Disney Plus, all of those are legal ways to use the movie in the classroom um, with our license. So we would not provide them, there wouldn't be any link for any, any options like that. Yeah. And uh, there was another question that just popped up. It says, who requests a license? Can the PTA have a license separate from the school? And actually, that's a great question. Um, it's not needed because uh, the, the license is what's called a site license. So it covers the school site. So the PTA can pay for it. The school can pay for it. Um, but obviously, being a New York State PTA member, you guys get a discount. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice way to kind of provide the school with the site license, obviously for any PTA sponsored events, as well as anything that the school does, but only one license is needed uh, because it covers the school site um, for the entire year. And- um, Which also that, brings up a good point. If you would contact us or your school wanted to get a license, we always ask the name of the school um, and where you're located in New York. So we can look it up and see, would your school happen to already have a license in place? Um, and if they do, you would be able to use that license because it's site-based and you're located at their school. And we would go ahead and send you the virtual movie series at your request um, by just checking that the license is in place with the school. Yep. And one thing that I will say too is um, the license coverage has been expanded a little bit. You know, I know that there's still, we are still in times 
of um, COVID and some restrictions in areas and maybe in-person events aren't going to be allowed. So one of the reasons why we definitely wanted to, to highlight the virtual series is that's obviously a great solution. But if in your specific area, you are able to um, have smaller groups or um, are able to do in-person events, we also have an outdoor exception with the license uh, for the rest of this year. Uh, for the rest of 2022, you know, you can do smaller uh, um, limited attendance outdoor events on school property. Um, and so that's a, that's a big thing that we're making sure is available to our New York State PTA schools because maybe not everybody's feeling safe inside the gymnasium right now watching a movie, um, but you could have smaller, so you know, two or three classes could get together or you could have a, a smaller PTA sponsored event um, up to 200 attendees. So you can't go over 200 attendees, but you can have them um, as long as they are on school property, you can have an outdoor events well. Obviously right now, weather's probably not permitting, but as we get into spring um, and uh, you know, the later part of the school year and early part of next school year, I just always wanna make sure as you, as you get the license, you know, that's gonna be available for the rest of the year here as well. We had another uh, good Listen, question. I'm going to interrupt. This is yeah. so fantastic. We're not going to get down at 1030 because there's so many great questions. So if you have to drop off at 1030, I understand for our people that are watching, but I think we're going to keep rolling oh, because you know, we don't want to short change the conversation. If that's okay with you, just send it in set. Yeah. Yeah, um, but fine. like to our, to our fantastic, uh, you know, uh, members, if you have to drop off at 1030, drop off at 1030. If not, we're going to keep the conversation going. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Um, so Maria was saying, did you say we contact you to confirm a school is licensed? So yeah, if you're interested in um, wanting to do movies at your school, um, the first step would be to contact me and I can look up and see if your school is licensed and let you know uh, whether they are. And I would provide you a quote um, at the New York State PTA discounted rate if they're not. And then you guys as a board could decide if that's something you would want to move forward with. There'd be a description um, in that email of everything it covers, all the studios, how it works, how you um, place your order with the order form. Um, and then if you did decide to move forward, um, you would have your license. And then we would also send you those watch links um, for the virtual series monthly. We'd put you on the list to receive those. And I'm going to go ahead and just share this screen for a little while. This is some contact info um, for uh, Jacinda and myself. And obviously, I just want to have that in the webinar so that as we have any, uh, you know, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to contact Jacinda um, directly. Obviously, my contact info, I just wanted to have it available. You're always free to, to send messages to me and Jacinda and I will work together. But, um, you know, Jacinda always uh, handles all of our, our New York State schools. And so i um, excited to, to be able to offer that. Um, as we as we kind of move through, I want to make sure there's not any other questions. Yeah, it looks like we, we do have another one. It says, is there a limit normally for outdoor events? So pre-pandemic, uh, outdoor events were not covered under the annual blanket license. It was for indoor showings only. Uh, but we want to work with our schools and our studio partners do also. Um, so we came up with this outdoor exception that was able to be able to use during the pandemic. And right now, like Seth mentioned, it'll be through the end of 2022, uh, possibly after that. But for sure, if you purchase the license or already have the license, uh, you'll be able to have outdoor events at the school for up to 200 people. Um, through, included in the license through December of 2022. Um, if you wanted a bigger crowd at those events, uh, you could purchase separate licensing to uh, increase the crowd. So we could talk about that offline too, how that works. Um, but the annual fee is 480 um, and right now would include the outdoor movies and you can do as many as you want, up to 200 people. Uh, there is a link since it's an outdoor exception that we have on our website and we send it to all our customers. You just fill out that link and let us know you're agreeing to the 200 um, audience size and what movie you wanna do and date. And then we send you an approval email so you know you're good to go. And then we also mark your account that um, your school is having that movie outdoors and we approved it. Um, and the reason that is, is because it is an outdoor exception of, to the license. And we wanna make sure you know you're good to go and that we've noted it uh, for future reference if there's ever any questions. And, um, oh, I saw a question pop up and just to, to make sure we reiterate, yes, the fee is annual. Um, and so it is an annual license. So it's not even just the school year annual, it is a 12 month annual license. So if you decided, you know what, let's get the, the um, we're gonna purchase that today to get our school covered for an event that we're gonna do uh, next year at this time would be a renewal where you could renew the license at that point. Um, one thing too, I know that Jacinda can do is obviously, um, you know, if we ever have to line up and help with, uh, um, 
fiscal budgets versus calendar year budgets, and thing like that. Jacinda always works with our schools very well to make sure, okay, how can we, can we prorate the license to, to then get a full license put in place or, um, or with a lot of PTAs, depending on where your board cycle is and, and how you guys are set up, you know, what's the best date for you to have a license start uh, as far as an active license date. So um, whatever we need to do, we're very adjust, you know, we can adjust on our side to help with you and, and make sure we um, accommodate, you know, to, to help you guys get that license put in place. And then Nicole asked about if we had the um, virtual streaming movies uh, available that what we're showing in the dates for February to get that out to their units. And I'm pretty sure that would be the same thing Kyle did in January for us. Um, so we can get together with Kyle or you could contact me and I'd be happy to send it just to you personally. Yeah, that'd be great. Just send it. I don't think we've sent out the February dates yet. I think, um, you know, and but I think, and remind me, do we have those movies titles already? Right. We just, yeah, we do. We just got them a couple of days ago. So we can we provide just got that them. to okay. you. So you're going to send yeah. them over and we'll get them out to unit leaders and our, reg uh, our region directors. And uh, Nicole's our fantastic art specialist too. So that'd be great. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. And I'll do, uh, we're, we're working on um, making sure we have March too. So that, that'll that be something as we move forward, we'll have March available here by mid month. So we can start getting further ahead. We've always kind of tried to wait. So if a new release comes available, we can add that in there. But, um, you know, we're trying to kind of replan out a little further in advance as we get into the, uh, the virtual series, because uh, we can always catch a new release the next month if it comes out the month of. So, um, but I think that'll be, that's a great idea to make sure we're trying to advertise that for all of, of the PTA members. And just to reiterate, that is with an active license. And so um, obviously, uh, if you don't have a license right now, you know, you can see those titles if you're going to ask, you know, well, how do we play these or how do we show them, you know, contact Jacinda, she'll be able to help you with um, getting a license put in place and then having that watch link available uh, with the, uh, the past phrases for every movie. Um, I, I'm trying to make sure if I, I don't want to miss the question. Them all. I was, I was looking through while you were talking. Um, Jacinda, can you just go over the annual fee and how we're, it's discounted for New York State PTAs? We had a, someone ask about that because they missed it. Sure, sure. So it's 12 months for $480 and you pick the start date and then you can also do a two year uh, that you even get a greater discount for $850. And uh, with both, you would pick the start date and go from start from that date for the next 12 months or 24 months. Um, so that is um, a great discount that the New York State provides its, its members. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in. I know we want to try to keep it close. Uh, we well, the last license. question. That's a great question, Joyce. Oh, is the license per school or per school district? So each school, it is site-based, would need a license. We do license for districts, but they would purchase for, for, for each school in the district. So if there's five schools, there would be five licensings in place for that district. So it is per, per school building. And I think, thank you guys so much. We recorded this, so we're so excited. We're going to send it out to all of our units. Looks like we had 24 schools on, so that was always great. Um, awesome. And thanks to everybody who joined us. If you have any more questions, you can send them right to myself. I know everybody has my address. Or you can send them right to Jacinda or Seth. Um, and again, check out on our website, we have a swing page too. So you can go to that virtual exhibit hall and go to the swing page or go to our Alliance Partners page and hit swing and get right to all the swing information as well. But thank you so so much for joining us. We're so excited really to bring uh, this fantastic benefit to our units, um, this great discount, and to be able to have meaningful family engagement events when it's really difficult to have that right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very much. Thank you guys so much. Have a nice, have a good it. afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining Thanks. us. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.